Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 15 of my SPSS tutorials. Today we're gonna look once again at the multiple linear regression models, but today we're not gonna take a look at confounders, but we're gonna take a look at mediators, another form of variables which may be present in your uh, statistical model. So I do recommend watching episode 10 and uh, for 13, 10 and 13, because they explain the basics of uh, a regression model and a regression model with a confounder and uh, it's important to watch those because you need to understand those before you can watch this episode but you're obviously not required if you know how a, a regression model works and you can start with this episode straight away uh, if this video is helpful in any way shape or form then please uh, support me by subscribing to this youtube channel and uh, liking this video and if you have any questions whatsoever then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below Okay, so now let's get started. Today we're going to take a look at the relationship between a job and an income. If you look at the first variable, it states job and it says that there are four types. So it's a categorical variable that there are four types of jobs. Uh, job one, job two, job three and job four. And we're going to take a look at the, the main relationship we're going to focus on is the relationship between job and income. So if you if you increase your job, let's say that uh, job two pays more than job one, job three pays more than job two, and job four pays more than uh, uh, pays more than job three. If you take a look at the corresponding incomes, you can see that the income for job one in this case is twenty thousand, for job two it's forty thousand, for the job three it's sixty thousand, and for job four it's eighty thousand. So you would suggest that increasing in your job uh would lead to an increase in income and if you would put that in a model it would look like this a job and it is a one-way relationship to income not the other way around if it's two ways then it's a correlation but in this case it's a regression you want to know the relationship between an independent variable being job and the dependent variable being income so we're going to do a regression analysis on that so you go to analyze regression linear and then you select as the independence you select job and as the dependent you select income because you want to know the relationship between the independent job and the dependent income then you press paste and then a syntax file will open a syntax screen if you didn't have one yet uh, i'll take out the previous one so you'll get this uh, so you get this syntax line, it says regression, dependent, income, and uh, also job. So then you select it and press the big green, uh, big green play button, also known as run selection. And then in your outcome, uh, in your outcome tab, you'll see uh, the regression tables. But the only one we're going to look at today is the final one uh, being coefficients, the coefficients table. And you can see that the slope, so the B, of job is 19,800 something something. Which means that if your job increases with 1, then your income increases with 19,800. And want to know whether this is significant or not? Yes, this is a very much significant because the significance level is smaller than 0 0.001. And therefore it's lower than the alpha which is most of the times 0.05. So we can conclude from this simple regression model that indeed job has a significant level, uh, uh, job has a significant effect on your income. So if you increase your job from one to two or one to four, whatever, then your income will significantly increase. That would be a simple regression model. But, 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 but there's always a but. Maybe this relationship is explained because of another variable, which could be, which is called the mediating variable, which would be salary. Maybe if your job increases, then your salary increases. And because your salary increases, your income increases. So maybe if you put it into a model, it will look like this. Not only does your, the, so the main relationship is still job to income so if your job increases your income increases but maybe if your job increases your salary increases and if your salary increases your income increases so part 
of this of the main relationship is explained by a mediating variable called salary. And this is the big difference between confounders and mediators. A confounder can really be seen as a disturbance to your uh, hypothesis and to what you're investigating. The confounding variable you want to neutralize. So you want to, uh, if it would be salary, it would be the confounding variable, then you would want to uh, neutralize it so you can find out the true relationship between job and income. While a mediating variable is more of an explaining variable. So it is not a bad thing, but it helps explaining the real relationship you're looking for. So maybe the relationship we just found, being a 19,800, is explained via the increase in salary. So we can do two small uh, uh, so we, uh, first we can do a small regression to find out whether job has an actual effect on salary. We can do a simple regression to find, uh, to find out. So you go to analyze, regression, linear, and then the independent is still job, but this time the dependent is salary. So we want to find out whether the independent job has an effect on your salary. Then you press paste. Go to the syntax, select the second regression line, and press pay and uh, uh, run it. And then, if you go to the bottom, you'll see the coefficients table, and you can see that yes, indeed, if your job increases with one, your salary increases with 1.488 euros an hour. And is this a significant effect? Yes, because it's again 0. 0.000, so it's smaller than 0. 0.001 and therefore it's smaller than 0.05, which is most of the times taken as the alpha. So we can, if we go back to our model, say that this effect, so from job to salary, is indeed a significant one. Now we're gonna do a multiple linear regression, in which we're gonna take a look of both the effect of job and salary on income. So you go to your data set, you go to analyze, you go to regression, to linear, the first independent is still job, but the dependent will once again become income. Then you press the next button over here, and the second independent variable is going to be salary. Then you press paste, you go to your syntax screen, you select the syntax, and press run. And if you then go to the lowest table, to the coefficients table, the first model will describe our old simple linear regression, so if only job to income. But if we look at model two, we can see different, uh, we can see two different slopes, so two different effects on income. And if you take a look, job, if we take salary into account, because uh, by adding the uh, another variable, so whether it is a confounder or a mediator, by uh, inserting it into your regression model, you, uh, SPSS takes it into account. So uh, if, you, if it would neutralize the effect of salary on income, then the true relationship between job and income is only, fi only 15,674, which is still very much significant, as you can see here. But you can see that it is much lower than the 19,800. So, salary, uh, if you take a look at salary, the slope is 2,774, which is also a significant effect because it's lower than 0 0.05. So, if you go back to our model, our real job to income relationship is still significant. But the uh, relationship between salary and income is also significant. And therefore, if we go back to our uh, regression, uh, to our coefficients table, we can see that both have a significant effect on uh, income. And because the job effect decreased when we added the mediator, we can say, and therefore conclude, that part of the overall relationship, like the overall relationship between job and income is 90,800, but 
part of that relationship is explained via the mediator salary because it has an uh, it has a significant effect on salary and the job slope has gone down slightly from 90,000 to 15,000 so there's still an uh, so there's still a significant effect but it's slightly lower because it is uh, the overall relationship between job and income is partly explained via salary so salary gives an explanation it's not a confounder it's not a disturbance it's an explanation uh, it's an explanation to the overall uh, to the overall model so if you go back to our model at first we thought that the overall relationship is 19,800 but if we take the mediator into account we can see that the direct relationship is only 15,600 and part of it of that 19,000 was explained via salary because job to salary was significant and salary to income is also significant Okay, so that's the theory on mediators in multiple linear regression. Uh, the next video will be uh, how to do uh, calculations with those. Uh, but for now, I'm going to round off. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel, help me, help me make it grow. That's my big dream. Help BuzzPSS go famous. Uh, and for now, guys, I'll see you in another video. Bye.